Welcome back to Electric Car Power Plus in another interesting topic. Our today's topic is Save Trip Coil 1 and 2 Scheme in Tripping Circuit of the Circuit Breaker. Let's proceed to our video. This is one of the Trip Coil 1 circuit. As you can see, Trip Coil 1 circuit. This is the main positive and this is the return for tripping signal. We have here many tripping options, for example, 94 self trip relays, 86 lockout relays, 85R, and some other trips available. In the simple scheme, when a 94 is operated, this is the self reset relay. It gives tripping signal to the trip coil of the circuit breaker, which is available here downside. After that, when fault disappears, this 94 gets self resetted and the positive get disappear from this point. While when 86F operated, this 86F is actually the lockout relay. Lockout relay means once it's operated, it will continuously make its contacts until we get it reset. Until we not reset it, its contact will be make, made continuously. So the continuous positive pulse will extend to the trip coil. But you know, in the in, in tripping circuit, we have breaker and no contact in series with this circuit, which is not showing here. But actually, in the tripping circuit, the CV auxiliary and no contact is available in series with the tripping circuit. So whenever this positive get to continuously extend to tripping circuit and the circuit breaker gets open, this NO contact will be open and this positive pulse will not reach to trip coil and trip coil will be safe. But in some cases, now our trip coil, our circuit breaker does not operate due to a failure of circuit breaker. For example, our 86F1, this is the lockout relay, it's operated and it gave tripping signal to our circuit breaker. Due to any mechanical problem, the circuit breaker does not get operated. Now what will happen? In this case, our positive will continuously will be extending to the trip coil because the circuit breaker is uh, not getting open mean it's no contact is still closed. Still closed mean this 86 positive 86F1 positive is continuously reached to the trip coil. The trip coils of circuit breaker are high burden coils. It takes more currents when get energized. If it's operated continuously, it will damage the trip coil because of more currents and more heat. In order to save this trip coil in the scenario of circuit breaker fail condition, there is a one scheme. This scheme is called save trip coil. Now I will explain how this save trip coil will work. When the self reset replay operate, there is no problem. It will reset when fault finished. But when 86F1 is operated or any other lockout will be operated, it will be operated continuously at contact and circuit breaker fails to operate. In the case of circuit breaker failure, our, we have one dedicated circuit breaker failure protection relay for this CB, which is not getting opening. After 150 milliseconds or 250 milliseconds, whatever the setting of the CBF relay, once CBF relay operated, the contact of the CBF relay we have inserted in series with the tripping circuit here. This CBF contact will get open and the positive continuously coming from 86F1 would be blocked up to this point. It will not go out of this point. So it will not go, to go out of this point mean our trip coil will not get continuously positive and it will be safe. So this is the reason that we are using 86 CBF, CBF relay contact here in series with the tripping circuit and this scheme is called save trip coil. This is the tripping circuit 1, so it saves the trip coil 1. Similarly, if we go to the next page, this is our trip coil 2 circuit. So here you can see 86 CBF. This NC contact is, in, contact is in series with the tripping circuit. This is our tripping coil. Now the breaker is failed. So this NO contact will be closed. 
when the 86 86 F1 is operated or 86 F2 is operated, the positive will continuously come to our tripping coil. But whenever the CBF is operated, surely this is the case of the circuit breaker failure because the breaker is not getting opening. So our CBF relay will operate. When our CBF relay will operate, its NC contact will get open. When open means it will block the positive up to 2x5 32 terminal and it will not go out uh, to 2x5 33 or x5a2. So our uh, the trip coil will not get continuously positive and it will be safe. So this is the trip coil 2 as you can see. Trip coil 2 safe. So this is the trip coil 1 and 2 safe scheme and it's very helpful to save our coils. I will show you the benefits, same I have explained. Benefit of save trip coil scheme is it saves the trip coil from being burnt in case when there is a circuit breaker failure condition and breaker is getting positive pulse continuously and it's not getting going to operate. So the CBF and C contact will get open and it will save our trip coils. Thank you for watching this video.